You may be wondering how to edit PDFs on your iPad. So let's take a quick look at that and see how you go about it. So first open up the PDF. So in this case, if you look at the top right, there's a little share icon. Now on my iPad here, nothing happens when I tap on that. You may have better luck, um, but the key is to get this sharing working. So we'll, we'll hit the Safari compass on the uh, next to it on the top right as well. Now this will open the same PDF in Safari. Now the share button works. And what we want to do is scroll along and find books. Now this is installed on every iPad, so you'll have books there. So if we open it in books, that copies the PDF across. Now we can look through the worksheet and if you tap just to get the menu, on the top right you can see there's a little pencil icon. If you enable that, we get all these controls down the left hand side. And this palette can be moved around on the screen like that to get it out of the way. Pick the type of pen you want, so you can do highlighting if you want, and you can draw on the screen. Pick the pen, you can zoom in and write in there. Obviously I'm just writing numbers, I'm not getting these right. Um, and there's an undo, so you can remove anything that you've drawn and you can change your colours. So it's not too difficult, but you just know, need to know where to go. Uh, once you've made your edits, I would just suggest taking a screenshot. So we'll turn that menu bar off, tap again to get rid of the other menus. And you can take a screenshot using the power button and the home button at the same time, or on other iPads, it's the power button and the volume up at the same time. Any screenshots you take will be then available in the camera roll and you can add those into any app and share those. If you want to send the whole PDF to somebody, if you come back out of the PDF there and then click the dots on the right and then you can share PDF and then pick the application that you want to share it with. So you might want to email it to somebody. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, you can use an Apple Pencil. Uh, that gives you a bit more fine grade control over what you're writing. There are cheaper alternatives available at about 25 to 30 pounds. Just make sure they're compatible with your device. And those are just as good for writing on the screen. So give those a go maybe before buying the more expensive Apple Pencil. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helped.